Good evening everyone. Guys, I wanted to get this out before 8 o'clock tonight because for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of protests planned for tonight at 8 o'clock and as I'm recording this at 7, 17, uh, 19.03. I want to get this out guys just before uh, things potentially start or don't start. Now, <clears throat> I've been looking into this guys, alright, and apparently there's a hundred protests planned for tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm going to tell you now what I think is going to happen, but also as a backdrop of this, you know, I think it's going to be very soon that we are, that, it, that somebody makes it illegal for us to share these um, images or footage or live streams of these protests while they're happening. Guys, I can't tell you how dystopian that actually is. So if somebody's live streaming something, you know, you're seeing the images, you know, as it says, live. Now, if you share that, that is the truth. There's no, there's no lying about that. There's no um, political slant on it. There's no alternative take. There's no, uh, uh, you know, additional truths. What you see is what's happening. Now, if five or six people are sh uh, streaming the same thing, but from slightly different angles, you can't deny what's happening. You can see it there with your, you know, with your own eyes. And what I see happening at the moment is a battle between the government and media, not media, the government and people who want to share the media. So, guys, it's just a wild time that we're living in. <clears throat> So also guys, in other news, we're going to talk about what's been happening in the Middle East, we're going to talk about Iran, we're going to talk about Israel, we're going to talk about Ukraine, you know, some, it's really funny what's happened, well it's not funny, but you, you'll see the humour side of it when you'll see what, uh, when I talk about it, what Putin said. And also we're going to talk about honey traps and how they how they operate. And I'm going to give you an article that's recently been um, you know recently been released. And I'm going to ask you guys the question. Once I've read you the article, do you think this could have happened to any of our politicians? Anyway, so let me start first with the um, what I wanted to get out before eight o'clock. So I've read the you know I've looked through all of these um, what are they called these protest locations. And the first thing that struck me was. These have not been produced overnight. It's This has taken time and planning, which says to me, this has been pre-planned for a long time. And I don't want to go down conspiracy lane, guys, all right? And I'm not going to go down there. All I'm going to say is from a strategic point of view, me looking in at this with my limited information, I think these protests and this has been planned for quite a long time. What I will also say, because of the number of protests that are planned, I don't think there's any intention to go to all of these protests. What I think is going to happen, and you know, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, we'll soon find out at 8 o'clock, but what I think you're going to see is a lot of these protests, just nobody turning up. You know, there's going to be nobody from, you know, uh, you know, as the media puts it, the far right or whatever, there's just going to be absolutely no one turning up. Now what that is going to do, that's going to put a strain on the police service. And then the next time, you know, whoever organises these things, they say, yeah, we're going to turn up at this location. The police turn out in force again and nothing happens. Then the next time it happens, yeah, we're going to turn up at this location. And the police say, oh, well, you know, it's kind of, they don't really turn up anymore. And then that's when it's going to happen. Now, I don't know if there's someone on the inside feeding information to whatever side. I don't know what's happening. But guys, these protests, the level of planning that's gone into them... Um, they're done with military, it's done with military precision guys, alright? So that's just what I wanted to get out before 8 o'clock. Now, let's save that one till the end. Right, let's talk about Iran and Israel first, hang on. <clears throat> so, first of all, it came out that Iran, well, Iran could rethink Israel attack amid strong diplomatic pressure from the US. So, you know, the US has been putting a lot of diplomatic pressure, um, you know, in that region, trying to, um, well, they say trying to stabilise the region. Whether this has been happening or not, I don't know, but that's what's been reported. So this got reported like seven, seven, maybe eight hours ago. You know, so the US has gone in there and they're, they're talking about strengthening diplomatic ties and diplomatic pressure and we don't want escalation, blah, blah, blah. And then, a couple of hours afterwards... Israel vows to kill... Uh, Yaha 
Sinwar, who's the new leader of Hamas, um, as US warns against escalation. So basically, the US are coming in now and saying, right, guys, don't escalate, don't escalate. And then straight away after, you know, the Israelis say, right, that's fine, we're not going to escalate, but we're going to, you know, we're going to do this to this person. Guys, these escalations are happening. There, there's no going back now. They can't, they can't be stopped. Too many things have happened. What I think is everything that we see in the paper, in the media at the moment, <clears throat> I think it's all put there for, you know, just for us to listen to and just for us to think that something's going on behind the scenes and just for us to think that people are trying for peace. Because it's okay when people say things, but you've got to actually watch their actions. At the moment, we're waiting for an Is Iranian response to Israel. Whether that comes or not, we don't know. I've said I think it'll happen Friday, but I certainly think it's going to happen before Monday and definitely within this month. Now, right, guys, this is hilarious. Well, this, this is the one that I thought was, um, you know, a bit, well, I'll tell you. So the Ukrainians have um, done an attack and incursion into Russian mainland. You know, so Ukrainian forces have gone in. I couldn't find anything whether this was supported by the F-16. So I don't know if that's happening. I'd like to think it would have been in some, you know, in some capacity they would have been supported. But I can't find anything out there. So I can't, I can't say that for 100%. I'd speculate that it would have been in, you know, in conjunction with F-16 air support. But again, you know, I don't know. But what's happened is the Ukrainians have pushed into, um, you know, into Russian mainland and they've been fighting. And guys, and Putin's response has been absolutely hilarious. Let me say. So Putin says Ukraine engaging in large scale provocation as Moscow accuses Ukrainian forces of incursion. Ukraine, Ukraine has not commented on, the Rus on Russia's claims if confirmed, it would be among the largest incursions into Russia since the war began. So, from the media then, and again, I don't know if this is happening, I don't know if it's fake news, what I'm telling you is a lot of media outlets are reporting on it. So, Russia invades Ukraine, and now Putin's complaining that the Ukrainians are fighting back and going into Russian land. It's ridiculous, you know, I mean, come on, right? You know, Putin, if you're going to invade a country, don't complain when they fight back. It's ridiculous, you know, and I guess it just shows you the kind of, you know, misinformation and media spin that these people are putting on it. Because look at the words they use again. So that word there, provocation. You know, I, I've spoke about this provocation for, you know, quite, I've done quite a few videos on this provocation. And I say to people, you know, it's, it, it's become quite fashionable for celebrity pundits, celebrity commentators, people who think they know what they're talking about to say, ah, oh, yes, but you know what? Russia was provoked by Ukraine. And I say, OK, how? How, how are they provoked? And then they'll say in another video, they'll say something. Yeah, you know, the, U the CIA had secret training bases inside Ukraine. And I'll say, what? And they'll say, yeah, 2016, a report shows that uh, blah, 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 whatever funded, whatever. And then they, you know, they make up a load of stuff. Now I say, OK, 2016. Right. OK. So Russia invaded Ukraine in 2014. So what you're saying is two years after the invasion of Ukraine, Ukraine provoked Russia to invade them. It doesn't make sense, guys. And none of these arguments with this provocation, none of them stand up to reason. None of them stand up to, you know, a clear headed, you know, you know, analysis of what's happening. But the problem is, as long as, you know, enough people repeat things, then, you know, people start to believe them. So, yeah, I just thought that was absolutely absurd that Putin's now complaining that the Ukrainians are fighting back. Finally, guys, because I do want to get this video out before eight o'clock. So... I'll read you the article and then what I'm going to ask you guys is, do we think any of our politicians could have been affected by this type of honey trap? It's kind of espionage, uh, honey trap, what do they call it? Um, femme fatale or whatever it is. Belarusian spy nude, nude model charged with espionage in Poland. 
The suspect, who made a living by selling nude photos online, managed to infiltrate Belarus Belarusian opposition groups in Poland and passed on their information to the Belarusian intelligence service. So basically what's happened, as I understand it from the article, you've got a girl and she's on one of these online platforms or, I, yeah, I'm assuming it is, you know, and she's managed to infiltrate now you guys interpret that however you want she's managed to infiltrate political parties within the government and then you when well, once she's trolled that information pass that on to another government now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mention a name guys because i'm relatively new to youtube and i don't know if i'm allowed to mention names uh, but i'll put the article in the description you can look at it for yourselves but the lady in general, uh, a Belarusian nude model who spied on Belarusian opposition groups for the Belarusian State Security uh, Committee, has been charged with espionage. So there you are, guys. OK, you, you know, you can't deny it. She's been charged. It's a thing. We've we've now got these ladies trying to do whatever and infiltrate political systems. Is this happening in the United Kingdom? Could it be happening in the United Kingdom? In fact, there was an incident, wasn't there? Right, guys, I'm going to, going to do a quick search for this and see if I can find it. Um, I think I'm going to... No, I can't find it. I can't, ah, here we are, guys. Yeah, there we are. I've got it. So from the 4th of April, I think this is it. Yeah, guys, I'm just putting this together now. Um, I'm going to read it here, guys. Nudes sent to top Westminster figures in Honey Trap Sting... Oh, no. Okay, that's not it. Oh, no, it is. I think it is, guys. Yeah. Right, okay. I think that's the article, guys. But obviously, I don't want to look into it while you guys are waiting. So... There was an article in the UK recently, like a couple of months ago, when something similar had happened, but it kind of got blown over. It was basically one of the, I think it was a backbencher or something, you know, they'd been found and they'd been sending nudes and other people's phone numbers. And there was a whole network of, um, you know, infiltration. Now, was this just, you know, somebody having, you know, somebody doing whatever, or was this actual, you know, state sponsored honey trap infiltration? Guys. What do we think? Do we think there are members of the British political class that could have been infiltrated by honey traps, by these, you know, like these people posing, espionage, all that? Do we think that could have happened? Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Guys, I'm going to mag to grid because like I said, I need to get this online, but um, I'll be doing another video later on today after nine o'clock with the latest updates from if anything's happening on the streets, like I said, I'm not confident that all these events will happen, you know, for a reason I said earlier on. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a look later on, see if, they have, see if they have happened, how they've happened, and what the next steps are. But guys, be under no illusion, okay? Things are happening now that can't be undone. Like I said, going to mag to grid.